going on guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna to be working on my rear drop on my 85 C10 I'm gonna start by removing the bed you don't have to remove the bed but I'm going to because I want to clean the frame and paint it and um, it does have eight bolts holding the bed down I believe the nuts are uh, 19 millimeters but I'm not even gonna mess with that I'm just gonna cut the top heads off be a lot easier plus I order new bolts for it and then there's a harness in the back that you need to dis disconnect to unplug the um, tail lights and there's some screws too on the gas tank cap that holds the, the neck uh, those gotta come off and then you should be able to remove the bed and I believe there is a ground wire too but I'll I'll check to see if make sure there's a ground wire I'm pretty sure there is and uh, that should be it to remove the bed and then I can start clean the frame and see notching and all that good stuff but enough said let me get started This uh, gas neck right here with the gas cap it has uh, three screws, three uh, three Phillips heads. You take these three off. That should this should come off. And I believe there's a ground underneath, a ground wire somewhere in the back. All right, guys. So I did find a ground wire. I don't know if you can see it there. So I don't have to do nothing about that. It's already not even connected. So. I ain't got to worry about that. Um, I'll put a new one after I get done. Alright, let's get the screws out. Right there. Right, guys, we got these three screws off. It should come off after I remove the bed. So we'll see. Alright guys, so this is the rear end of the truck by the bumper. This is the bumper right here. And this is the hardness so I was telling you guys. We gotta get these unhooked lift that up push it out gotta do this one and you got another one right here gotta get these tabs off and pull that wire out and I can't do it with one hand so I'm gonna have to put the camera down alright guys hopefully you guys can see get these unplugged so she wrote Alright guys, so since I got these unhooked, it's still it's still hooked up to the bed. Got some clips right here. I gotta go I gotta get those off. So I'm using this to pry it out.
same thing with the other side. Now that's off. And we got this one right here, which goes to the uh, your license plate light. So I gotta remove this one. Got a zip tight. Get the zip tight off and move this out the way, and it should be good. It should be clear to get the bed off. So I don't have to, so I don't rip any wires out. So I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys should see right here. That's holding it. Here's like a zip tight or something there. I gotta cut that off and let this wire down. And that should be it for that. And I can start grinding out the bolts from the top. And the bottom bolts for the uh, bed. See, there's one right here. Oh, we just oh, yeah, right there. Right here. The bed bolts, screw or nuts are 19 millimeters. But mine are so rust so rotted out that I'm not even gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna grind the top and it should be a lot easier to take them out. Now let me get started. I'm gonna start grinding these heads off. Got four of them to grind down and that should be yeah. it and we should be able to remove the bed. Heads cut off. Cut out all eight. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this bed or look for another one. If it's fixable, repairable, I'll keep it. All right, guys. Well, now that I got all three screws out of here, I got all the heads cut off, all eight. And the wires disconnected so I don't rip them off. Now I should be able to pull this bed off and uh, do more work. guys so I got the bed off 
now it's gonna time to go to work and start taking all this rust off you can see all this definitely gonna put a new tank um, I'm gonna try to concentrate in this area more because this is where I want to put this is where the sea notch is gonna go so this bump stop I have to take this off I think it's a riveted in the back right here and you can see that you got got four rivets that you gotta cut off and do the same thing for the passenger side and I did put some uh, penetrating oil on the bolts all these bolts right here on the axle right here too on the lift spring both sides uh, did spray some more on the bumper right here that bumper's coming off and it's not going back in I'm gonna put a more nicer bumper on it this one looks a little too country and I don't like it it's too square so more penetrating oil right there all these on the uh, shocks right there they're gonna come off some more penetrating oil right here get all that nice and hopefully they can come out easy and then like I said this bump stop has to come off right now all this real nice uh, cut a piece of cardboard do a little template so I can line up the center with the axle so I can drill the holes and the and C notch it and then once I'm done with that I'll start painting the frame grinding the rest of the frame and painting it so that's the progress you do need four people to take that bed off because uh, me and my son we're gonna do it and it's uh, too heavy so you need two more four people to get all together to help you out and it is heavy unless you have a hoist of some kind but yep all right guys so before I start cleaning the frame and see notching and all that good stuff I'm gonna start removing these bolts here there's six of them they're 19 millimeters for the uh, bumper and this bumper is coming out so let me get started all right guys so before i move the bumper i still got the wires hooked up to this bumper right here got you can see that a little clip right there take that off got another one here here all the way across just take those off so you get the wires off so you don't mess them up and uh yeah let me get started
right guys, so I managed to take two bolts from the bumper off. That was actually three of them on this side. And this one's giving me a hard time, so I'm just gonna grind this one off. Grind it right here, take that one out. Same thing with the uh, passenger side. Got these two out, except for this one. So I'm just gonna grind right in here and that bumper should come off. So there was only six bolts holding the bumper. I found out three more down here that I thought was part of the bumper, but it's not. So there's three here and three here, but that holds the, uh, the tow hitch on the truck. And I'm gonna have to take this out too because I don't want that on my truck anymore. So yeah, so let's get going. Okay, so uh, these bolts right here, I'm just gonna cut the heads off with a grinder. There's three of them. So, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother using the uh, air compressor because it keeps shutting off. So, I'm just gonna use the grinder, grind those off, and go from there. Alright guys, so I finally got those 19 millimeter bolts grinded off on both sides, but I still have a rivet right here. I need to grind that down the other side as well. And the tow hitch should be coming out.
it got the toe hitch out of there I did make a mistake that ribbit that I was telling you about that's not even part of the toe hitch it's a part of this support so I'll probably end up welding this back together same with this rivet but the I was started I started hammering the toe hitch and it just came off so then I realized that that wasn't even part of the toe hitch so my mistake lessons learned so let's keep moving All right, guys so this is it for this video if you guys haven't please subscribe to my channel help me out uh, things I'm doing is the first time I ever done something like this so if you guys have better ways and stuff on, on uh, square bodies comment down below I don't get mad I just appreciate everybody's comments it could help me out too as well and it's gonna be maybe two or three more parts of this video part five so you guys stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one okay.